today's video, I'm going to be using thrifted items as well as items from the Dollar Tree and Dollar General to create three thrift flip projects for my Valentine's Day decor. I got these really cute roses from the Dollar General as well as hearts from Dollar Tree, this fabric from the thrift store and some Dollar Tree ribbon. The first thing I did was to cut the pocket out of this pair of thrifted jeans. My daughter found these at the Goodwill outlet bins and didn't like the way that they fit. And I said, let's hold on to them. I will make something out of them. This project was inspired by something I found on Pinterest years ago and have had pinned to my Pinterest boards for years. <laughs> so I cut out that pocket. I did kind of a rough cut first just to make it more manageable. And then I went back and cut around like a more exact cut, but leaving all of the seams intact. Then I cut a little square of fabric from my pink fabric and I used this old receipt. I just needed a scrap piece of paper to cut out a little heart pattern, just like in elementary school when you make Valentine's. I folded it in half and cut out the heart. <laughs> and then I used a pencil to trace the heart onto the plaid fabric. And I got smart recently. I bought myself brand new scissors that I am keeping just for fabric projects. And then I have separate scissors that I'm using for all of my paper and other crafting projects. So I will no longer be dulling my good scissors with <laughs> cutting them on things that aren't fabric. And then I was just kind of laying out how I wanted this to look. So basically I'm just decorating the pocket. And I thought I was going to use a pink rose, but I, d I decided to go with two red ones. I pulled out my tight bond glue. If you, you could also use fabric glue. I did not want to use hot glue because I didn't want to see ridges of glue behind my fabric. The fabric was kind of thin. So I just spread the tight bond glue onto the back of the fabric heart. You can see it's a little bit messy, but that's okay. And I did get a little on the front, which shows up kind of later on once it dries, but no big deal you know it's a rustic craft so and actually the dollar tree adhesive on the back of these hearts is really good i didn't need to use glue these are very very sticky so that was really good the roses come with little adhesive squares on the backs but i pulled those off and used my hot glue to attach those to the pocket Then I took my Dollar Tree ribbon and I just tied a little, I call it a shoelace bow. So just a simple bow with the tails kind of longer because I was going to use those to attach the pocket to the ribbon. So I just kind of glued the tails of the bow into the inside of the pocket. And unknowingly, the orientation of my camera switched and I did not realize it. So I apologize that this footage is oriented sideways, but... I figured it was better to put it in here than to not have it at all. So you can see I'm just um, gluing together two of the Dollar Tree felt hearts. So basically I'm making little pillows out of these felt hearts. So you don't wanna glue the centers of them. I just wanted to glue the edges together uh, so that I could stuff them. And so I just left a little opening and then I took cotton balls and I just shoved them into the little heart pillow pocket things. And once the cotton was inside, I used my hot glue to seal up the edge. And then I cut two more hearts out of the plaid fabric, two of the same size, because I was going to use these to make another little heart pillow. And then I used my hot glue to attach the sides again. Now, you really could sew these if you wanted to, or you could do that with a machine, or you could do it by hand. I just didn't want to. <laughs> but that is definitely an option. And then I stuffed this heart with cotton balls as well and used my hot glue to seal up the side. This video is part of the Flippin' Friday collab hosted by Jamie from Border Bananas. Every third Friday of the month, I will link her and the playlist in my description box below. And if you're enjoying my crafts, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. And here's my two cutie little pillows. And then I got some paper towels 
could have also used tissue paper or scrap fabric. I just wanted to give the pocket a little bit of shape, so I stuffed it with the paper towels. And then I figured out where I wanted my hearts to go and kind of stuck them in the pocket, and then I glued them in. And then I decided I wanted to add one more little rose, so I glued that into the pocket as well. And here is the finished product. I am using these on my cabinets in my dining room. I actually liked it so much that I whipped up a second one so that I could have matching on either side of my cabinets. I just think they look really, really cute. I was quite pleased with how these turned out. For this next project, I am making a bunt pan wreath of sorts. So I needed a bunt pan and some flowers, some chalk paint, and then a tag, something to use as a tag. I'm gonna use this heart as well as some twine. I decided to use Baker's twine. I saw this project originally made by Erin on Big House Tiny Living before that was the name of her channel. She used to have a DIY channel and she made this bunt pan wreath and I thought it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. And so that was about two years ago and I finally found a bunt pan to use. So I will link her video in my description box. She does not make videos anymore, I don't think. And she had stopped making DIYs and started doing minimalist content on her channel. But I never forgot about this craft. It is just so cute. So I'll put her link in my description box. I did not have pink chalk paint, so I mixed up my own. And then I used some alcohol to make sure that my bunt pan was really, really clean so that the paint would adhere to the metal really well. And because I was going over a dark color with a light color paint, it took me about two and a half coats to get really good coverage. And presto changeo, look at that beautiful bunt pan. Oh my goodness, I think it looks so pretty. I love the color pink paint. Then I just used my little wire clippers to snip off these flowers from the stems. And I just used a dot of hot glue and I glued one little white flower into each of the bunt pan grooves, if that makes sense. And here's what it looks like with all the little white flowers. I think it's really dainty and pretty. And I like the green in the flowers too. It goes definitely goes with what I'm doing in my house right now. And then I did whitewash the wooden tag. I don't have footage of that. I just took a very dry brush and kind of whitewashed it. And then I got my black paint pen and I just hand lettered. Again, got this right from Erin. Nothing but love. Ha <laughs> ha, I love a good pun. I just think it's so adorable. And yes, I could have used my Cricut, but to be honest, I didn't want to take the time to do that. So it was just easier to hand letter it. And then I just put dots around my letters. That is a trick from my scrapbooking days. You just put random dots around your letters and it just makes it look finished off. And then I attached this to the bunt pan with my baker's twine. So I don't have great footage of this, but I took my baker's twine and I wrapped it around several times with a nice big loose loop so that I would have enough to hang it from because I wanted it to be able to hang and, you know, sit flat against a door or whatever. And then I, I tied the little tag onto the baker's twine. And here it is all finished. It's hanging here on my son's door, but I'll show you what it looks like upstairs. And here it is hanging upstairs where it will be for the season. The lighting is terrible up in my dining room at night. So, but this is what it looks like hanging with the other two items. For my third thrift flip, I've got this little canister. I got it at Goodwill. I think it was $2.50. And then I have more of my fabric and more of my felt hearts from the Dollar Tree, as well as several florals from the Dollar Tree. And I have some dowels. These are from Michael's. I bought a big container of all different sizes, and I have three of these very small diameter dowels. If you didn't have dowels, you could also use chopsticks. Oh, and then I also have some trims. I have some lace and some little pom-pom trim. I also used some Dollar Tree foam. And the first thing that I did was to fill my little crock with the Dollar Tree flower foam. 
and I didn't glue it in because if you pack it in well, it'll stay put and I wanted to be able to take this out just in case I wanna use this crock for something else. Then I got this piece of cardstock and I got one of the felt hearts from the Dollar Tree just to use it as like a size guide and I created another pattern from this cardstock so I wanted the heart to be slightly larger than the one that I created for the other project. So then I went ahead and cut that out. Then I folded my fabric and I just traced my pattern onto the fabric. And then I cut the two hearts out because again, I'm making little stuffed hearts, a little different than the ones before. These are gonna be on sticks, but basically the same idea as in the first project. And then I glued the edges of my little fabric hearts together. This time I made sure to leave the bottom point open because that's needed to be open so that I could stick the stick into the bottom. And then I also left an opening on the side so that I could stuff it with cotton. So I just stuck the stick in the center. It was a little challenging because the cotton was there, but I just kind of moved the cotton out of the way. And then I used my hot glue to make sure the stick was going to stay in place where I wanted it to, and also to glue the little heart shut. And then I tied a little bow with the lace. Again, I just did a simple shoelace bow and cut it off the spool of ribbon. And then I used a drop of hot glue to attach that to the bottom of the heart. And next I was making another little pillow on a stick using the little felt pieces, the little felt hearts. Slightly different process here. I glued the stick to the center first, and then I also glued the cotton to the center first, just because I just thought it would be easier, and I do think it was easier. And once the cotton was glued, then I used my hot glue just to glue around the edge. And this, I had to be really careful, very easy to burn myself, and also, I didn't want to get glue, excess glue on the felt because it just makes the felt heart look messy. And you can see I'm kind of using the stick to poke the cotton in just to make sure that the cotton wasn't going to show through the little cutout parts of the heart. So, and I don't know, these look, these are simple, but they actually, they were kind of harder to make than I was expecting, <laughs> but I got them done. And then I used lace trim again to just make a little bow and glued that to the bottom of the heart again. And off camera, I did make this red one as well. Didn't wanna bore you with the process again. And then I took my white little pom-pom trim and I made a bow out of that to put on the bottom of this red heart. And here's what all three of my little hearts on a stick look like. Then I got my little crock and I just started filling it. I'm sorry, the angle here is horrible. I will show you once it's done, but you can see I just, I made one of the hearts taller than the others. And then I filled it with flowers. And then you can see here to cover up any of the foam that was showing, I just stuck some moss into it. I did not glue this down because this is just gonna sit on my kitchen counter. It's not gonna go anywhere. So I didn't feel the need to glue the moss in. 
And here's what it looks like on my little tiered tray in my kitchen in the corner of my countertops. I made it for this place because I just needed a little piece of decor for this area. But I love it. I think it looks really cute. And this tray is one that I made a while back. I can link that video above. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed these thrift flips. I hope that you'll check out the playlist as well as Jamie's channel. And until my next video, thanks for watching.